beautiful creatures welcome back oh my goodness i love y'all so much you guys have been giving me so much feedback the comments and they are just highly appreciated so please continue to comment down below today um oh my bad y'all the last intro i said we we're going to be doing the spirit of the animal oracle cards the spirit stopped me and we end up going into the moon earth shedding light into your moon earth love life and i know that that was beneficial because that was just the spirit so i know it was and thank you for the people that comment and it was for you it was for a couple people um but we are going to be doing that two card spread so we are going to really be getting in touch with our masculine and our feminine sides and asking the spirit where we need to focus so that we can balance the both of them so this is entitled the yin and yang spread the left card is going to represent our female or our uh, feminine side this is our relationship side our contemplation um our feelings and our self-discipline and then the right card is going to represent our masculine or our male side and this is where our mental more action uh warrior spirit is our doer okay so i'm really excited um about that if this is your first time tuning in today i do not believe it is by coincidence i do believe that if you caught me um i believe that you are a very very powerful being and that you are being called to action uh this is not the end of the world okay so if you've had questions like what is my real purpose what am i here i know i'm here to do something greater you know people may have called you weird or crazy or even evil i'm here to assure you that you are very powerful you are the truth okay and um yeah you are being called to action i'm going to encourage you to hit uh subscribe hit that bell so that you get every notification every message every reading is timeless every message that i share with you are just messages that i get via the holy spirit archangel michael and his legion of angels mercury kalima i go to the ends of the universe expanding my mind non-judgmental opening up to all of this opportunity that is around us just to aid us in the spiritual awakening which the ultimate purpose is to obtain acceptance and worth and true happiness and joy because only then when you are when you have that you are able to get it see we were created to come into this world and absorb darkness and negativity but due to the fear that was instilled in us as children and due to the lack of knowledge um, of the wisdom that we already possess we've been lost and stuck with this darkness and negativity which turns into addictions suicidal thoughts uh, self-esteem issues eating issues sleeping issues all types types of issues sickness and ultimately death um here i'm here to teach you that wisdom is neither taught learned or obtained once you reach a certain age but rather remembered and that all the secrets of the universe can be found within here we appreciate the darkness and we respect the balance of light and dark positive and negative and now the feminine and masculine so go ahead and hit pause grab a pencil and a piece of paper i'm about to deliver you a very powerful message uh please note the date and the time when you are receiving your message and note any synchronicities within the numbers our angels do speak to us numerically if you don't even know anything about angel numbers please watch the video that i have on that um, and then write down any message, any feelings or, or any thoughts that you have after receiving your messages. Okay. Thank you. Hey, welcome back. This message is for my water signs, my Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Please write down the date and time where you are. Again, notice any synchronicities. Angels do speak to us numerically. Also, I wanted to say um, that God or the divine or source blessed those, blesses those who work for peace they will be called the children of god and we are the children of the source or children of the star seed shout out to all my star seeds all righty remember water signs we cannot focus on any depression self-esteem issues accepted accepted issues um you know, being misunderstood, nobody understands you feeling alone. We have to focus on the overflow and that our cup runneth over. Okay, this represents our spiritual riches and the jewels that are in our heavenly crowns. And that our blessings truly just come out of nowhere. And that we are so rich, okay, on earth as it is in heaven. Okay, these are just all visuals. You gotta have a vision, right? 
Um, the power of life and death is in the tongue. Um, karma. You read what you sow. Um, what you put out, you will come back. So we can't send out need into the universe. We need to visualize that everything that we have, we don't need money, we don't need a job, we already have these things. We just need to remember the wisdom to be able to pull these things into us, okay? Our love, our twin, our soulmate, twin flame, um, anything that you are needing, any messages, we just need to get and tap into the wisdom and just take a minute to get up with yourself, right? Alrighty, using the healing elements of the crystal. Okay. If you'd like to know more what I do with these, please check out my seven chakra video, part one and two. That everything we need, the essential oils, healing element of the crystals can be found in Mother Earth. Thanking the Earth for all that she does for us. Okay. Overall, we're just lucky. Things just work out for us here. And we believe that and we set that intent. We have luck. If you like to gamble, you're lucky. You're going to hit big. Shout out to my star seeds. You know, there's lots of labels and lots of things that people identify themselves as. Um, we are like the clear quartz. So if it is your first time tuning in today, this is the clear quartz. This is the universal stone. It can be used to set any intent, clear any negativity within your cards, uh, within your chakras. Uh, just bring balance. It can cleanse any of your other stones. Very powerful stones. And I see us as those. If you are joining into my channel, we are like the clear quartz. We can be used to set any intent. Very, very powerful. Um, my pendulum that we are protected and that we are able to obtain clear answers from the source within. Okay. And if you don't know, you can tie a string around the clear quartz and create a pendulum. That, uh, Reminding us that we respect the balance of dark and light, okay? Positive and negative energies. Here, we break down that wall of religion. This is that ugly ball of, wall of religion, separation and judgment, okay? There's really no such thing as good and evil. All are welcome, okay? Because we respect the balance. And in fact, our light is truly inspired by the dark times, right? That there. Alrighty. So I'm just going to be setting the tone today with the Palo Santo. <clears throat> the Palo Santo just purifies energies while raising your vibration in preparation for meditation. It can call for a deeper connection to the source of all creation. It enhances creativity and brings good fortune to all of those who are open to its magic. Trying to torch these things, so I don't have to do it as long. See some of that energy, some of that magic. Opening your mind. Alrighty, water signs, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. We are very intuitive, emotional, ultra sensitive. As mysterious as the ocean itself. Okay. So again, we are doing that too, hand spread, just um, the left representing our female, our feeling, self-worth. I would like for you to just meditate. So there are words that we can find more balance within our masculine and feminine sides. So where is it that we need to have more focus? Okay. If you would, repeat after me. It's just a simple Lakota prayer so that we can come into agreement. If not, you may just listen. Great mystery. Teach me to trust my heart, my mind, my intuition, my inner knowing, the senses of my body, the blessing of my spirit. Teach me to trust these things so that I may center and enter my sacred space. So that I may enter my sacred space and love beyond my fear and thus walk in balance with the passing of each glorious sun beautiful universe archangel michael and your legion of angels i ask that you come and cut anything that is not serving these water signs right now. any depression any suicidal thoughts any neglect any addictions any worry 
any sleeping issues and eating issues. I'm hearing bulimia, any arthritis right now. I'm hearing arthritis. Uh, real quick, water signs. I realized while I've been shuffling that um, I was hearing words and I didn't even really know that I was channeling. So I did, you know, seek guidance from someone another light keeper and they're like you know you're channeling if you're doing that you need to speak those things out so please if any of the words that i speak out while i'm channeling resonate with you anything at all just please leave a comment below um, you may receive healing here okay water sign very intuition oh oh any emotions that are on high any unbalanced emotions we have to cut that right now holy spirit calm the shekinah our leader and our guider into all truth and all knowledge. I just thank you as we reach out from the north, the south, and the east, and the west, far out galaxies, the universe, and beyond, seeking messages to aid my water signs in this awakening process. How can we restore balance between our masculine and our feminine side? Thank you, Spirit of the Animal Oracle, for your presence. Which animals are working in the lives of the water signs right now? Which animals are working out? Okay. So for the feminine side, we have the eagle. Ooh, keyword mastery. You are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of the spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. Wow. This is for the female side where your feelings, your self-discipline, uh, contemplation, your relationship. And then for the masculine, we have the hair on, which is patience. Create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently toward your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. And this is for our action, our warrior side. So I'm going to say that... Um, That you have the, you master the gift of patience. You are a patient master. Yeah, something to that effect. Female, male. So as we get into the book reading, there are power words. So as I speak these words, I would like for you to look at the picture and hear the words and just allow the two to just resonate deep within your spirit. And anything that stands out to you, please write it down or any thoughts that come to mind when you hear these words, go ahead and write it down as the Spirit speaks to you privately. Alrighty. Make sure I get everything in there. Okay. Imperial power, victory, vision, rising above. Protection, wisdom, wealth, swiftness, strength, soaring, spiritually, doorway to the spirit. The eagle as a totem appears to those who have begun their spiritual journey to mastery and personal illumination. To have this majestic bird in your life is a potent of protection and guidance. Eagle medicine allows one to have the gift of keen sight, knowing, and greater perspective. Eagle is said to carry prayers and requests to the Great Spirit and bring back the answers and wisdom that are needed. Eagle people know how to ride the wind and take advantage of opportunities in the uplifting currents of life. Eagle people travel freely between the two worlds of earth and sky, matter and spirit. Oh, yes, water signs. That is so us. If eagle has recently become your totem and a new vision will open and a new beginning will emerge. Yes, this is the beginning of something new. I'm telling you, you will understand situations with sharp discernment and be gifted with sight, swiftness and precision to accept this totem is to embrace heightened spiritual growth. 
with eagle as a totem, you will become a master of creative forces in the world and soar among the great ones. Wow. This is going to require a lot of self-discipline, right? My water signs, that is amazing. And then for the masculine is the heron. We already know one of the power words is patience. Okay, so allow these to resonate with the spirit again. Write this stuff down if it really stands out to your heart. That is the spirit speaking to you. So we have patience, grace, introspection, watchfulness wary truth supreme hunter courage magnificence and feelings herons live in two worlds at the same time their feet are planted in the water world of intuition and their head is in the sky of the mind they stand for long hours staring into the water and their own reflection Introspection helps hair on people know themselves and understand others. They need to be careful not to let self-absorption turn into self-criticism. Wow, yeah, we do that. The hair on is usually solitary and loves the peace of quiet isolation. They can be very happy alone. Their shyness is not weakness, but self-preservation. Yes! Yes, my water signs, especially for Pisces. I know I'm so I'm a Pisces sun. Yes, that is so us. Wow. If a, if hair on, if you are a hair on person, you are intuitive, thoughtful, graceful, and authentic. You are a natural philosopher and ponder the deeper meanings of existence. You are aware and watchful, and these traits keep you safe. Focusing on your goals assures that your needs will be met. Hair on people know how to visit. They know how to wait. I'm sorry. They know how to wait for opportunities to arrive. Their patience is their virtue. Wow. Those with hair on as a totem have an elegant manner. There, there is their natural way of being. Hair on people know how to look within and find answers. They can lead them to their dreams. If harem glides into your world, take some quiet time and self-reflection and ask the wise harem to help you know yourself, your strengths, and the path on your purpose. Oh my goodness, water signs. Wow. That is powerful. That is powerful. I totally resonate with that. I am a water sign. Um, if you resonated with that, wow. Just say something that was beautiful so yeah you are a, a master of patience you have mastered you can master patience when balance and you know patience is hard isn't it and that's the thing that I've struggled with and I have I do feel mastering it I've learned to just you know everything comes in a season a time and a season to let things flow and if there is deception, it, whatever's done in the dark will come to the light. Somebody needed to hear that. Whatever's done in the dark is done to the light. And it's not that you needed to hear it. You needed to hear me say it to you because you've already said it. Whatever's done in the dark will come to the light. Yes, it will. And I'm going to manifest that it will come to the light. Please comment down below because I know that was for somebody in specific water signs, okay? Well, I love you so much. Let's go ahead. This was beautiful. Um, as you know, candles not only shed light into the physical realm, they've also been known to light up any darkness within. Um, lots of different colors. They do have lots of different meanings. However, I have chose pink, which represents love. Hopefully, I said shed some love life um, and balance uh, as far as your masculine and your feminine energies go okay see y'all next time water signs